Here's what I'll be thinking about this week in the energy space. The UAE's ADNOC announced this month its plan to focus more of its capex on downstream, particularly in petrochemicals, where demand is expected to climb 150% by 2040, driven mainly by growth in demand in China and Asia. Last year, ADNOC said it would spend above $100 billion in the next five years, more than 40% of its capex to diversify and grow its downstream businesses as part of a strategy to triple petrochemical production by 2025 to around 14 million tons a year. This is part of the Emirates' plan to diversify its sources of income under its 2030 strategy. It also plans to increase its portfolio of petrochemical assets abroad. The past year has also seen ADNOC align its group of companies under a single unified brand and open up opportunities across its upstream and downstream businesses to new categories of partners and investors, including public and private institutions. The company tapped global capital markets last year for the first time, issuing a $3 billion IPO against one of its large crude oil pipelines, as well as floating shares in its retail and distribution subsidiary, Adnoc Distribution, on the Abu Dhabi Stock Exchange. Kuwait is another Gulf player that's been on an ambitious refining trajectory, spending $50 billion in the last five years upgrading its refineries in Kuwait and building 600,000 barrels of capacity. The country has also just completed a Vietnam refinery with Petro Vietnam and its Japanese partners and initiated the 200,000 barrel Dukum refinery in a 50 50 joint venture with Oman Oil. It also has a feasibility study on a new fifth refinery in Kuwait of 300,000 barrels, which will take it up to 1.7 million barrels by 2025. And another refinery planned by 2040, taking its domestic refining capacity to 2 million barrels. All these refineries are integrated with the petrochemicals projects. So those are my thoughts on energy for this week. Do tune in for more commentary on LinkedIn, Twitter and YouTube.